Hi, Lock Lovers. It's me, Natian, showing you how to enjoy the journey, of course. I came across a video on TikTok. You have to watch it. It is so funny. If you want to know how serious black hair is, just go ahead and watch this real quick. I just... Ah! You know how far white privilege goes, bro. You just wake up. Oh, I'm going to do a messy bun. Oh, look at it. It's a bit messy. And black hair is beautiful. Black hair is beautiful. It grows up towards the heavens. I'm not dissing the thing. This is black hair. This is. But hey, I need 28 inches of that. I need that ordered and sent in prime Amazon tomorrow. I need it tomorrow because I'm, I'm actually like tired wigs oh yeah great put on the wig let's glue it down for a week let's glue it down for a week no freedom no no freedom every time i'm taking it out scratchy scratchy and no matter you can buy the hd triple x 3000 surplus zero lace front lace i can still see the lace babe i can still see it it looks really good but i can still see it and i can still feel it it's not mine it's not and even that you you do one you can't even sleep on your 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 head properly you gotta get up and straighten curl oh, 50 minutes again then if you want to do closure oh yeah just slip it glueless oh yeah slip it on slip it off slip it on slip it off but now you're restricted you can't even put the thing behind it because you've only done one edge you've only done one edge bro or you want to do boho uh, which is now five thousand and sixty three pounds you want to do knotless braids because that's the trend right now. And you know what? We, we had braids in school and we banged them out. But now, because of all your wig and just wanting to get it off and rip it, you don't even have edges, bro. Or you put in the braids for one week now because they use 56 tons of gel. By next week, everything's flaky and grey. You're grey. You're only 21 and you're grey-headed. Regrowth. And if you just want to wear your natural hair out, gotta buy five million and sixty free products to keep it nice and bouncy or if you want to put in a pony you gotta straighten the life out of it and heat damage but if i had 28 inches of this black beautiful hair i just need 28 inches father can you hear me we need your love today. Why do people don't go through all of this? I don't understand why we put so much pressure on hair. Like, it's crazy. Like, yes, I know we want to look good. We want to look fly. We want to look presentable. We want to look this. We want to look that. We want to look that. We want to I, I get it, right? But y'all gotta simplify everything. That is what made my life so much easier when I got locks. I'm not telling you gotta get locks. I'm just saying, if you want it, get it. But you have to figure out what works for you. Simplify your routine and know your hair texture and how you want to look, okay? When I was a free natural, I had my fro. It was a lot of work. I think wash day was the hardest because you, I had to wash my hair and then I had to blow dry it out. I was not a washing girl, girly. You gotta know yourself, know your lane. When you don't know your lane and you're trying to dip and dabble and doing all kinds of different things, that's where you mess up. You gotta know what works for you. And wash and goes do not work. I liked my hair stretched. That was how I was able to handle it. So once I wash my hair and I blow dry it, what I used to do was do cornrows straight back, medium size, big size cornrows straight back. And I would have the, um, I don't know if you guys remember, it was called the olive oil line in the green bottle. It was olive oil moisturizer. I would put that, then I would braid my hair. That was a recipe for success. You need to learn your recipe for success when it comes to your hair. I don't care if it's locked. I don't care if it's permed. Hope it ain't permed. But I don't care if, it, if you're a free natural with a fro. 
you got to learn your own recipe and your own formula about what works for you and what makes it easy. Because if you don't, you'll be in shambles and you'll be feeling like the sister in that TikTok video. So when I had my fro, that would be my formula. I would, um, I would wash my hair, I would blow dry it, and then I would do the cornrow. So when I loose it out, it would be a nice wavy flow and that, that never failed me. So when it comes to locks, um, my formula with locks is to wash it every three weeks. Now that I have this scalp issue going on, with the flakes and all of that, I have to wash it often. So whenever I see that it starts to flake up, I just gotta go wash it. So I would do that and I, I would retwist it. And I know that I'll be set for, for weeks. I know that I'm good. And I always have my go-to styles. If I wanna look, it really depends on the look that I'm going for. Obviously I could wear my just my locks down and it'll be no problem. It would still feel, you know, beautiful to me I, I can still rock it remember the lock is the style so you don't feel you don't have to feel like you need to style it but when I do want to style my hair I have a formula I always want something to go up like this this was done in like 2.5 seconds I know what I like I know what looks good on me I know what I'm comfortable with so that's what you need to do you need to experiment and figure out what is your comfort style if you know you like half up half down and you can go to without fail do that if you know you like your hair down do that if you know you like curls make sure you, you know you curl your hair often you need to have a formula a fail safe formula a, a fail safe recipe I should say like so you know like I am going to look good when I wear this and it needs to be simple to replicate over and over and over again what be messing y'all up is that you try too many different things and you're looking at what this girl is doing and you want to try this and you want to try that and then it don't work you always feel behind. You don't feel like yourself. You're always searching for the next best thing. No. Find your signature look. That's really that's really what it is. You need a signature look. And that is how you figure out what looks good for you. So when you try your signature look, no matter what you put on, on your body and where you go, yeah, that's Natalie. Like, people know when I come through. This is, you know, yeah. That's Sarah. That's this one. Yeah, you need your signature look. You just can't look like everybody. And it's boring. It's boring when you do that. So, in the comments, I would love for you guys to tell me what is your formula? What is your signature look? How do you like to look? And what is your fail safe go to look when you want to feel your best? Let me know in the comments and let's discuss. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, Lack Lovers. Thank <laughs> you.